and welcome to my Inkscape live drawing again. My name is Istvan Seip. I'm a graphic designer and illustrator and a design teacher from Hungary. And uh, I use Inkscape. It's a free program. I really like it. Um, what I'm going to draw today is Little Red Riding Hood. Uh, usually these drawings are much longer than an hour, but uh, for the screen share, I keep it for an hour. So I will see if I can finish it this time or how far we're going to go. Mm, I have some ideas which I sketched here next to me on my notebook, and I didn't scan them or anything. Uh, sketches are just very rough sketches for me, so I don't care about if they are uh, you know, if they are very high quality sketches with everything, all the shadows and all the details, it's really not about that. Uh, it's about putting your ideas down from your head uh, in front of you on the paper and then later on render them on the computer. So, what I'm going to do now is uh, create my version of the Little Red Riding Hood and the uh, wolf. And I'm going to do it uh, using some negative space and uh, yeah, make it a bit more serious than I usually draw. If you know my drawings on Pesto Design, which you can check on facebook.com slash Pesto Design or Pesto Design.com, which I didn't update for a long time now, but I promise I will. So if you if you know my drawings, uh, it's usually very cute characters and uh, very simple, very simple uh, drawings. Not simple, I mean simplistic, very cartoon-like. And uh, what I want to do today is a tiny bit more serious, or, or uh, serious looking. This is not a mouth, and this is a shadow from the face. Make the whole face a bit different color. This is a shadow, then this has to be darker, but still colored skin. And this has to be lighter. I don't know how you like it, guys, to use Inkscape, but uh, I prefer to use this one the, for color editing. I prefer to use the wheel instead of the yeah, instead of using the RGB scales and everything here. I like to use the wheel so much because it's very comfortable and I see what I'm doing, which color I'm picking, hue and saturation wise, very easy to pick. So I suppose it to everyone to use that one. Uh, it's just the face was interesting to me, how to make a sad girl face. And uh, I could start it totally different, but because this time I just had a good idea the other day and my idea is quite clear to me. I can create the face how I want it. And I don't have to, I mean, I don't have to suffer about the idea because I have that in my head and in my little sketch. And I don't care much about the, that part. Now I just want to play around a bit with the head, a few minutes, and then draw everything around. I know this is an important part because this is the head of the little red, but
you will see in a moment what I'm going for. I'm just making the hoodie now. I know the head looks a bit alien, it doesn't matter now, because it's going to be covered in the hood in a second. And then make this one a bit brighter red. Okay, it looks as rough as I want it, and with the shine of the nose. And I put here a shadow under the lips. This is playing with the negative space as well because I don't create the the uh, lower lip. I just draw this shadow under what we have under our lips. part can be brighter, the upper can be like this. As you see, she almost has a hair. What I'm gonna do is a bit different. Adding some hair. And now I just bend it. If you click Control, Control click the nodes, you're gonna see some bending. If you have any questions, by the way, guys, when I'm drawing, I'm not gonna show any, nah, not any. I'm not gonna show all of the tricks and everything I know in Inkscape. Just I draw this uh, particular idea I have now, and. Um, I won't go into details about other techniques and everything, but if you have an idea or a question or anything, in the Google Plus page you can ask, and I try to help. Because you see there is a question and answer icon. And yeah, so I can answer the questions uh, regarding uh, drawing with Inkscape. So this is one a little red. I always duplicate. If you saw my other videos, you know why. But I always tell it it's the best thing I can do in Inkscape. If you're doing duplication of one object is or one particular part of the drawing, I do it usually to make changes. And if I'm not satisfied with the changes, I can go back to the previous one. So if I'm not satisfied with this color, I can change it, but see it and compare it to the other one next to it. Or I can do it like yeah, or I can compare them to each other. Or I can just use the one I really like. Yeah, this one can go up. This too. I think it's more or less accurate. I mean, it looks what I want it to look. Maybe getting back to the pointy one. Yes. And I want her to hold her clothes together. This is gonna be ridges in the in the clothes. I have to switch back. If you have any questions, let me know. I just always have to switch between the screens uh, to see if there are any questions. So I'm going to make her hold her clothes. As 
you see, this is what I do, or I use simple objects like circles and squares to create the first parts of the drawing, or I am uh, drawing them very roughly with this uh, with this tool. With the Bezier tool, and then I just refine the shape. This is also works for me because it helps me to, you know, to concentrate on what I want to do, and I don't lose myself in the details. I just draw roughly. I see the proportion. I see how I want to, to draw this little girl, and what I would like to uh, communicate. How I would, how I am doing the composition, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I don't even need this. I need a darker red now for all the shadows and dark parts. I don't need this one. See here the thumb is disappearing, but it's okay. Because it's gonna be a darker part as well. Put this under. So it's already looking like a wrinkled claw. And here as well I have to make the So the arm is getting off how I want it. This is the shoulder, then this is the arm. This one, this dark red in the background I can use also here. And I make her shoulders a bit tinier because now he looks like my bodybuilder friend a bit. Okay, and she can have this windy cape. No, maybe not. I will see later. Maybe I just make the clothes like that. And here under as well. I have to have the dark ones because of her clothes and now she looks like a cute little girl except for the big hand. Good. So I have it something like this. And yes, I have to save it. Because I didn't save it yet and it's very, very important. Because if you don't save, you can set up in Inkscape in the properties that is doing auto save. Uh, but if you don't do it before, it's not going to save. So, oh, again, okay, I'm back. I'm not sure about this here. Oh, it would be cool to have a red one. No, I'm just going to do it like this.
Okay, I have my little girl. I will fix this button part later on. Um, okay, one tiny detail I have to add is a button or something like that. So she has a button on her coat. It's just this one. Good. And what I want to check is how her. If I cut her hair off here, how does it look? See, I'm using different elements to cover. Yes. This one also here to create a shadow on the face. Too light. Something like this. See, because I think the hoodie is in front of the face, and the, and this one has to be as well. Okay, something like this. I have my little girl, and let me put one more light up here to the chin. And I have one part almost uh, as I want it. I just uh, group it up. So I, if I draw something in front of behind or behind, I don't screw it up. And now I can draw the house uh, of grandma behind. Yes, it's going to be like this. Let's see how it goes. Oh, you see me now. That's not good. I mean, it's fine. You just don't know what I'm doing. Is it visible now? Yes. Sorry, I lost the screen share because of uh, how Google Hangout is working. So I think you missed the tiny part of uh, me fixing the hood. But otherwise, it's good. It's the same. Um, yeah, it happens. <laughs> and now I'm going to draw the wolf which is a bit heavier. Again, I'm just going to draw a rough shape of the head of uh, how I saw how I made my sketch. Uh, he has big teeth um, and the mole. And I don't know, it's like a beard. And I want to make the head like this, like it's cut off. Okay. And this bottom part is weird. Ah, okay, now I'm, maybe I'm fixing it. Do you guys see what I draw? Yes. Now you see it a lot. <laughs> okay. And now... Let's create, first of all, let's make everything, yes, dark blue, going into a, maybe a lighter gray or something, not too light. See, it's totally okay to do mistakes, to do, because in Inkscape you can clean it up so nicely. Okay. This is a bigger one, and here more gradient, cool. This is the eye of the wolf. And more or less it's gonna be. Oh, 
how you were just thinking you just saw me 10 minutes of concentrating which is not looking into the camera just looking all around with my concentration face which i'm sure everyone has and it's not really the best face i can show yeah, but my mom loves me anyway and i don't want to make it like a red nose i, want, I think it is like that if you saw ever a photo about a wolf or when i'm doing stuff like this i'm doing uh, some research on photos and everything but it's the same thing if i make an angry face i have this ripples in front of my nose and i think it goes for wolves and as well yes it makes it angrier uh, i'm gonna make some hair on the head of the wolf Uh, just very rough Imagine. this part I have to work more uh, you'll see it has a nice structure okay So I said this will be about negative space and stuff, so you will see what I'm going for today. I hope you will like it. It's like the wolf is the wolf and the little red is just walking in the forest. the wolf is like the part of the night that's also the house of the grandma and this is my idea more or less I know I was keeping the idea back for a bit to have some fun with you guys but this so I didn't spoil it early and uh, yeah I can play a bit with the wolf this part maybe needs a bit yes exactly go a bit higher and this one as well and she has to go up also cool okay. The wolf's ear can be bending more because it's like a dog's ear. So when they are shouting or I mean uh, barking or they are angry, the ear is getting down uh, flat to the skull, I think. But it looks more like a rat. I'm so afraid I'm creating a rat instead of a wolf. How do you like it so far? I have to save. Maybe this is a little this thing one. Yeah, much better. This I want as the, of course, how you see it, I want it to be the moon, but also the eye of the. of the wolf and I'm gonna create some trees in the background I 
those are just gonna be very rough you don't have to be perfect Just create some pine trees. Very cartoonish ones. So not much detail is going into to make it actually look like a pine tree. Yes. Okay, I have these two trees. Let's see how they work in the background. They work okay. And this is what I want to make, just make it very make them hardly visible just to keep the feeling of the of uh, forest and maybe here as well so it's drawing also nicely the shape of the house and uh, And make my editor red a tiny bit bigger and now I'm gonna do the opposite what I did I'm gonna group up the wolf as well as you see I'm doing this all the time because now I have two groups one from the wolf and one from the little girl and if I want to modify any of them I can ungroup it or go into it and do it without uh, you know, without uh, making any changes accidentally to the other part of the drawing. That's one. This is the part of the tree, but I'm not going to put it. Okay, as you see, this is like ripped away cloth, but still it's giving the feeling as well of the uh, fur of the wolf, or I hope so. This is what I want to create, that the edges are a bit torn apart, and I'm going to do the same effect around here as well. 
And here is what I also gonna do. I'm just gonna create no saving. I just want to, okay, no questions, that's fine. <laughs> again my screen share yes no okay and what I'm gonna do now is fix this part and create a bit of the forest again so this time I'm gonna grab back up the little girl so as you see it's also good to put the things next to each other this is where i started and this is where i have the little girl almost finished and this is now where i am i'm gonna give uh, i'm gonna add of course more details to everything For example, all this one. So now I break up the wolf before I was breaking up the little girl and put this here in its place. And I do an intersection. And this is like the shadow one side of the house. So I make the house even more standing out. And this way I'm playing and making some, hopefully making some mind tricks because our mind is jumping between the roof of the house and the mouth of the wolf and so what else i'm gonna do is this part i'm gonna do some branches and leaves just to make it more fun for that uh, inkscape has an extension to create branches and leaves i mean um, it is a way to create trees from um, from a script from a, algorithm but oh, sorry <coughs> sorry but uh, this way I, I am I can play around more and I have the opportunity to create my own shapes and because I use this cartoonish style now, I don't have to make it, uh, you know, uh, very clean and beautiful. It's uh, one color, little leaves and branches. As you see, I'm gonna make it positive, negative again. Here, this is coming out. Here, this is going in. Yay, you are getting there, some nice details. I think I'm gonna also clean up the night a bit. I mean, add some more details and look up on the internet how a wolf head is looking because I'm really not sure about the ears. Uh, I almost got it. You see, this is what I do with images. I did it in other uh, drawings as well. And I don't think you see now what I'm doing. I'm just Googling wolf. And oh, this is some rough drawing. The rough photo is very nice. Yes, for example, this one. Oh, perfect. So I'm not going to use the photo uh, as a photo, so it doesn't matter uh, if it is copyrighted or not. I hope so. And I'm just going to use this photo, which I found online, just to check how the ear is looking. So what I did, I made it thinner here, but how it is, it's, it's more of a triangle than this uh, leaf shape I draw. So I, it's fine. What I'm going to do, I'm going to change this.
and they're gonna create this shape. Yes, much better. Here I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna add some branches, which are of course parts of the wolf. This time I want it bluish, yes. Uh, sometimes you see the colors are not matching. It's fine, I'm gonna match it together with the background later on. Now I'm just having fun with the leaves and the branches. And You guys don't know how much I was working a lot this week. You know, I'm a graphic designer, so I was doing a lot of clients work and building websites, illustrating, uh, you know, doing identity, brand identity. But I was waiting so much to draw again live because this is just drawing for myself. If there are questions, I answering. But basically, it's just almost like drawing for fun. It is. It is like drawing for fun, but it also serves the purpose of um, showing people what uh, Inkscape is capable of and uh, let everyone know about this awesome program. Okay, this is too much like the previous one. Or I can just good. Yes, if I'm looking at it in a smaller scale, it's nice. It's already getting to what I want it to be. That the wolf and the scary part is nothing else. It's just the forest, just a scary night forest. And you see, I don't take care about much about the leaf shapes. I'm not drawing them out perfectly. I'm just having my fun with it. Yeah. And here is the same. I just want to make this one bigger a bit. And I'm going to do the opposite thing again. I was growing up next to forest when I was a kid. So I just Think about it now, how the broken branches are and how everything is. I mean, they, uh, we had no wolves, I think. And this part is getting together how I like it. I may be going to work also as well on the little girl later on, I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm going to finish this in an hour, but I'm going to go there and we're going to see it. Okay. Ah, I know what am I missing. If she's holding it here, there are also wrinkles here. the same color. Do you see what I'm drawing or I'm showing you what I was searching for? I hope it's now you see what am I doing. I'm sorry guys to switching on and off. I have to check if there are questions. There are not much, but I want to see if there is a 
uh, interaction from you and there I'm always losing the point I'm sorry uh, the point is that I'm drawing <laughs> and as you see I'm making some mistakes so here is the forest here is the little house for reminding me that in which group I am now yes this is the little girl and this is the big bad wolf that's good See, I'm switching between uh, white and dark, uh, positive and negative. And just as I'm thinking like how to break the background a bit, how to make it more complicated, more interesting. And it's exactly what am I doing now. I keep this separated, but I'm gonna take all these branches and stuff all the blue ones at least and add it up as you see now it is one object and then I take all the white ones add them together and take it out and now I have the shape of this As you see, there is some mistake here with the pine trees. And then I subtract it again, subtract, and that's it. The edges are matching here, so I have the white background. Okay, I have the little girl, I have the wolf, almost. Yeah, I just wanted some break there. Good, this part looks really, really, really foresty. And I'm gonna do the ear. A bit more work here as well. Just to make it just to make it hairy I'm gonna add here a cloud and you will see why I'm losing my screen share again, come on Yes. At least you have to see now a lot of times how handsome I am. Okay, now I'm very tired. Sorry for these mistakes, but now you can see what I do and that's good. It looks like a big one. Yeah. So. Yeah, I fix this part. I think I have the wall head okay. Uh, here is very furry and it's what I wanted. Here is the home. 
it is a little red and I try to make her a bit darker exactly <coughs> Sorry. So this is the little girl in the forest, and I'm thinking to make her bigger or smaller, or much smaller. So the so she is like here, or much bigger. Not much bigger. Yeah, I think so. It's better. Also, to a little. Good. What I also gonna do? I'm gonna make her hair um, between the blue and the black. It's almost black, but a bit bluish. Just to play with this. Okay, fine. Okay, I'm gonna add some more lines around the wolf. Yes, this is one group. Perfect. And Ah, the cloud I'm gonna do as well. As you see here, I just use the pencil tool or the freehand tool it's referred to. And so it's a dark night, but the color is too much. Very simple. I want here more. Mm, good. Yeah. So it's visible, it's a cloud. I want to add some like wind so I'm just gonna make some lines going over like it's windy and I think it's gonna come because the hair is going this way it's gonna come this way and just for trying it's just for the fun. it looks like a mustache now but you're gonna get what I'm doing They look odd, but in a second they're gonna clear up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or well, maybe not. We'll see. You see, I'm experimenting a lot. If I'm I'm not sure about something, I'm not getting. Uh, I'm not freaking out. I'm trying it. I'm seeing if it works. I do the same with client work. I do a lot of sketching and a lot of work, and I, I just see if it works or not. leave it here so is the wind is like this but it's better if I put it behind her and it's still too much just drew something but it's very very almost not visible Okay, and I'm just gonna make some stars and put more. First, I make sure some lines more here. It's not like an eyebrow, but almost. I'm gonna make some hairs so it's 
even more shaky around the edge. See, it's like a comic book movement, like a rough, angry uh, movement. Whenever I'm checking here, it's flipping. Come on, Google. Yes. So. That's it. See more I more I'm doing from this is the better for this case. I not I try not to overdo these parts and this but I try to add them just to make some uh, yeah some more tension here and there. And this part I keep rough on purpose and simple. So it's directing the viewer. And now my trees are gonna make them a bit darker. Generally, I like this color better than this one. Good. So I have the wolf, I have the house, the trees, everything. Now I'm just gonna do my favorite thing. I'm just gonna group this up. So as you see now, I have two groups. The Little girl and the wolf. Send this to the back. And now I'm gonna add the stars, which are gonna be tiny and purple. I'll tell you why purple. I just have to see what I'm doing. That's it. And later, of course, I'm gonna repaint them. And I set the width, it can be one object or separate it can be the amount i don't need rotation because they are circles and there is some scattering which is like spread them around okay what i see now it's too tiny what i made let's see it now yeah computer is not very fast now dealing with all these things okay as you see all of them are one object so I can color them something bright and yes maybe even brighter I just don't want to make them very very super bright okay now this is my sky and you see there is a problem that it's in front of the trees and stuff and stars are very far so they are the further so i just now cut it out go into here grab my stars position them again how i wanted them and i send them to the back and back and it's one object all the stars because this is how I sprayed them. Some are out of the picture, so I just, not much, but a few. So I just duplicated the wolf and cut off what was off. Because it's one object, I can play around a bit even more 
with the colors of it. Like some of them are more visible in the darker part of the sky and stuff like this. These are the little details I like to play with because uh, this is the stuff if you take care about it, this is what uh, this little detail is going to make it more alive. No, it's like reflecting, too much reflecting. Good. And this one has to be behind. Yes, and the only thing I'm not satisfied with is the background color. Oh my god, I have to save. And it's see this is where I'm now. So I was coming from here all around and I'm now here. I'm just not sure about this color, so I have this dark bluish color and I'm gonna make it into purple or something purplish. Between blue and purple, maybe. Yes, but a bit lighter. It's a tiny difference, but I, I see the difference. This is just better. Yes. So it's a bit warmer. Mm, more purple color. Yes. And this one can be. Oh, maybe this would work. See, I'm experimenting all the time. Give some more detail to this blue, this and that. You see, it's a bit more, it's less, it's, uh, how to say, it's less, less gray than this one. Uh, what else I also want to do is just for the fun of it, the make the little girl duplicate, take it totally apart, merge it as one, and give them give her the same uh, purple uh, one object overlay, but very very slightly. Okay, ten is too slight. Okay, so the difference is that this red is now a bit more into this one. You can see it if I move it. It's just this much, it's just blending the colors. I could uh, play with the colors under and over and this and that, but I just wanted to blend it this way. And one more thing I want to add, and then I'm finishing because we are almost reaching the hour, is I'm gonna make her little shine on her hair. When I'm using this tool, I just push in Ctrl L, and that's uh, that can clear up. And clear up the little mistakes I'm doing, or you know, when you are drawing with the freehand tool, smoothing here you can set. Okay, and this one's I'm gonna keep to 50, so it's more of a shine. Okay, nice. Exactly. What about this? Yes, so now I have the wolf, I have the little girl, and I can play with if I move it uh, to make the wolf less static, like attacking, coming down. Maybe I can move it around, turn it around, but then the house is turning around. Then just a tiny, tiny. See, I turned it a very bit. Okay, it's done. And what I'm gonna do now is I put my logo on it, like everything I do. And it can go to Facebook or wherever I want to put it. So this was my Little Red Riding Hood uh, illustration with a bit of negative space and uh, 
a lot of coloring and a lot of mistakes. I'm so sorry for that turning on and off the uh, screen. I have to take care about it. I just don't uh, know how to get notifications from Google and draw in the same time. So I hope you guys had fun and you learned some tricks of how to blend objects and match them and how to colorize. Uh, this one also was the other drawings of mine. I'm gonna go on YouTube. You can check also the other drawings in my channel. Uh, last thing I want to say, you can check in, check my drawings on Facebook on Pesto Design. And uh, also, if you want to draw more like me and you want to know more about uh, Inkscape, you can check out my course on Udemy. Uh, it's an online uh, learning platform where I'm teaching uh, and uh, showing videos about how to use everything in Inkscape, not just the tiny parts I touch now, but uh, text and uh, gradients and colors and everything, everything in Inkscape. So how to illustrate and design it with Inkscape. And also uh, you can ask questions because I'm there and I'm seeing the questions and I can ask, uh, also answer them. Okay, so I hope you had as much as fun as I did. See you next time in uh, one, two weeks.